in the seventh topic we have plenty of polygons and here we need to see the corresponding parts of them and then write the congruent statement what it means is now imagine i have two triangles now if okay that is a very bad, bad drawing let me just draw like this okay if they are congruent then the sides all the sides over here will be equal to each other but now all the three may not be equal this might be five six seven five six seven so how we do is if one line is mentioned and this is mentioned they both are equal another side will be having two lines and then over here there are three lines that means this line is equal to this this with this and the bottom with bottom that's what it means similarly for angles if one angle over here that's equal two over here then it's equal over here and lastly we have three so now if at all this was given as a b and c and this as d e and f we can easily write a b c is congruent to d e f but this won't be just same like that see now we are, you can see they're tilted they are they are in different shapes they are changed their angles i mean they are congruent but they are in different orientation that's the right word now what you can do is one way is leave one of the triangle as it is let us leave abc over there and this one let us reconstruct according to abc over here ac is having one line so in this triangle the other one which i'm now reconstructing that is bdc which is having one line that is b and d let me draw it down with one okay now over here looking at this you can easily understand a is equal to d why because one and one line so i will put d over here so naturally the other side will be b okay next one that is done this uh long line was two dashes so this will be two dash then we have b over here but in this case it will be c and then the last line is three dash so now we can tell d is having one dash b is having how much one two three so it is one two three and this is only two and you can compare this you can see this is three this is two and this is one absolutely this is the correct answer so this is how you can find the congruent statement this is not over you can tell a and b d is equal b and uh, c is equal and c and b is equal so the congruency statement would be a b c you can write anyhow for the first one the next one it's triangle a b c congruent to this is the symbol triangle which one a is d the corresponding part b is c over here and lastly we have c as b so this is the exact correct answer so that is the thing a b c is congruent to triangle d b d c b similarly over here you can make the same way now over here uh this double dash is over here so let me just write this and then the single one is over here we can easily observe j and k are opposite angles so that will be same so if this is j the corresponding part over here is l upside is parallel over here so it's k sorry over here two lines that is m in this case and k with the one line l and k so this would be the answer so it's just that getting the drawing correctly then it's just writing c over here j is corresponding to l whereas k is corresponding to m and m is corresponding to k so this is how would be the congruent statement similarly you can do it for others over here it's much easier because the angles have been mentioned as well and uh, the sides have been mentioned you have to just re uh, rearrange this you can get this shape into the other side or this into the first one however now if you're getting this phi will be at the bottom that is z and y and then 4.3 line will be drawn like this this will be x that's it now you can write the congruent statement a b c is x y z that's it so please do all these problems by yourself they are very very straightforward there's nothing much in this it's just polygons over here now a is 109 over here 109 b is 108 108 similarly you can do all the others uh, so a is corresponding to f af bj b and j 
C and uh, C is one 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 C and I. So C and I, yeah. Similarly, you should do the others. Over here now, before we finish this, this is another type of problem where they have asked you to solve for x and y, but they have already told they are congruent. What is congruent to what? A is congruent to F, B is congruent to D, and C is congruent to E. You can see there are two unknowns, x and y. First, let's solve for y. Why? Because this is 1, B and D is already congruent. We know. So y must be equal to 48. That is very, very straightforward. This is 48 degrees, no doubt, because it's very easy to solve it. But what about x? You know two angles over here, 108, 48. Total angle of a triangle is 180. Just subtract 180, min 180 minus 108 minus 48. Now, if you solve this, you will get the answer for A. So let us do this quickly. 180, 72 remaining. 24, I believe. Okay. So now, once you have got 24 degrees, this is 24. If this is 24, then this can be equated to 24. 24 is equal to 2x minus y because they both are equal. Now, we know y, right? y is 48. So, let's take the uh, this to the other side. So, it will be 24 plus 48 equals 2y. What is the answer over here? 48, uh, 20, 24, 48, 72. 72 equals 2y. Divide both the sides by 2. Y is equal to 72. It will be 36. 36 times 2 is 78. 72. So this is the answer. Let's just check. Yes, X is 32, 36 and 48 is the answer. So this is how we can easily solve it. Whichever method is convenient, you can directly put that in calculator as well. You know Y is 48 and this is 20, uh, 24 we got, I guess. 24. So equal 24 is equal to 2X minus 48, you will get the answer directly. So this is how we can easily solve this. Please do try all the problems by yourself. If you do not get the answer, do post them, uh, do comment on the comment section, any of your questions, and I will get back to you very soon.